Hi, I'm Carl Weisecker, Principal Broker at Klein May Realty. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Q&A with Klein May. Our question today is one that kind of comes from our local paper. Somebody came to me and said, hey, I see a lot of foreclosure notices in our local paper. Is this the crash that folks have been telling us about? And the answer is no. While I will agree, I've noticed the same thing. There are more foreclosure notices in, in the local newspaper and online than what we've seen over the past few years, but that does not mean that we've got any kind of crash coming like we saw 15 years ago. There is no foreclosure crisis coming. What's happening is, if you'll remember during COVID, there was a moratorium on foreclosures. Uh, banks were not allowed to foreclose on folks, even if they were 18 months, 24 months without making a payment. That mor moratorium has now expired and banks are starting to catch up with folks who have been very delinquent and so we're starting to see some of those foreclosures come through. Nationally though, big picture level, there's the, the level of foreclosure is still below historic norms even, let alone below what we saw before the Great Recession. So there's no fear of that. And there are several underlying reasons as well. Unemployment is very, very low. Employment is strong. Folks who have been in their houses for a while have a tremendous amount of equity. As we know, just about anywhere in, in the country, especially in our area here, prices have gone up 35 to 40, 45 percent over the last three or four years. So if a homeowner were to find themselves in trouble, say they lost their job for some reason, likely they would have enough equity there to be able to refinance with their lender. Or certainly, as we talked about last week, we still have a tremendous shortage of listings for sale. So if a person needed to sell rather than face foreclosure, they shouldn't have any problem selling and having much more equity than in the house than what they need to pay off the bank. So several underlying reasons of why I don't see a foreclosure crisis coming. Don't let those notices in the paper scare you. That is a two to three year buildup of folks who have had some hard times uh, and were not able to make their payments, but it is not at all an indication that the market's crashing. We are totally secure in, in that thought. Our coffee today is from a roaster that we've had before that I like a lot. This is Stumptown Roasters. Uh, they're out of Portland, Oregon, and this one is called their Homestead Blend. Yeah, that's awesome. That, that, I gotta say that's one of my favorites. You can taste the quality there. That's a super smooth cup of coffee. I got that at Martin's Grocery Store right there in Harrisonburg, but anywhere you can find it in Stumptown, they do a really good job. If you've got a coffee that's your favorite you'd like to see me feature here, or if you have a question you'd like me to answer, please send that to questions at climbmade.com. And if you'd like to keep up on the market, as always, we've got a link below that'll take you right to a page with the newest listings in our market, those listings that have hit in the last two weeks. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.